Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a very special video because we're going to be talking about how to get a house and also some tips I'm going to share with y'all since I've already been through that process and I kind of want to help y'all out. I didn't have any help from nobody so I didn't really know what I was getting myself into and I just decided to do this video also because there's a lot of things that you don't know and you don't know what to expect from getting a house. So if you're interested in watching this video, please keep on watching. I know you're probably looking for a house right now or you have a friend maybe that's looking for a house. And this has very important things you need to know. So just keep on watching. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to start off by saying that if you're looking for a house you're making the best decision buying a house is really emotional but it's going to be the best and biggest investment that you're going to get in your life you're not going to regret it at all it is hard work um i am going to say that if you are looking for a house that means that you are officially an adult <laughs> because when i got a house i was 22 years old and I didn't really know what I was getting myself into like I said there was not a lot of information that I knew but I'm gonna start off by saying a lot of things and I'm gonna be looking at my phone a lot because I've wrote down a lot of information and notes that I want I want to tell y'all so the number one thing I want to talk about is paying off debt so paying off debt means like if you have any credit cards right now and you owe so much money from it or you owe a big car loan, whenever you're applying for a house, they will check all of that. They will check all of your information that you have, all of your expenses, and they're going to base it off on your income. So there has to be a few income coming in in order for them to be like okay you know we are gonna lend you a house and so that's what I recommend so paying off your debt paying off any credit cards because that's gonna help your credit go up a lot it's gonna help a lot so also another tip um, whenever you're doing going through the process of buying a house you're gonna be having a lot of paperwork to sign a lot of things going in and out so basically they're gonna ask you for any paycheck stubs, any information in the past that you needed, or any bank statements, they're going to ask for everything. So I would recommend getting a printer and a computer also because you are going to have to have access to the internet a lot. You're going to be getting in the computer, you're going to be searching, you're, you're going to be communicating a lot with your lender, with your realtor. There's going to be a lot of things going on, so you need to have a printer and a computer as well. Also, a lot of people ask me, like, what is your credit score supposed to be like so they can kind of um, consider you for having or owning a house? So basically, there is a lot of lenders out there. They all work so different. They all have um, basic, um, like, credit scores. So some will require you to have a 620. Some will require you to have a 640. It just all depends on how the lender works. So... I can't really answer you that question, but 620 would be an okay credit to start off with. Also, whenever you are in the process of getting a house, do not, I say, do not make a purchase of a car or buying any like new appliances for your new home that you're going to get. Do not do that because that will um, make everything so much difficult so you just stay with whatever you have right now do not make any more expensive do not buy a car do not just wait until you get your house and wait until you already moved in there and you have everything settled down but do not get anything while you're in the process of getting a house also whenever you are looking for a house i recommend another thing write down everything that you're looking into a house 
Do you want a three bedroom house? Do you want a four bedroom house? Do you want a second living room? Do you want a two story house? Do you want a big backyard? Do you want uh, a cul de sac? Do you want to be living on the outside of the parking lot? Just all depends on where and what you want. So write down all those things because getting a house is really important and it's the biggest decision of your life. Also, you need to want to know if even if it's like your house where you're going to live at forever, you're going to want to write down all those notes, okay? So also, um, another thing, they want you... Well, they're going to ask you for your job and everything, information. They do require two years of work, so work history. So let's say that if you worked for one and a half, they might consider you, but they actually require two years. And just make sure you have good income coming in. So before you're even starting to look at houses, find a lender that you know and that you researched and has good reviews because you want to know how other people are having or experienced with them on how their payments go on how the APRs it just all depends on your credit so just make sure you have a good lender also you want to get quotes so if you go to one lender get multiple so you see what the APR is and everything so I recommend getting Maybe two or three lenders just to see where you're at and what is the best APR. APR is basically what they're going to charge you to let you borrow the, the money for to get a house. And it just depends because it's just different lenders and your credit has to be in good condition as well. So just make sure you're getting into Credit Karma. There's so many credit things out there that can tell you where you're at. Um, on credit also you're gonna get paperwork paperwork tax statement check stubs um, daycare information bank statements everything they're gonna check everything I mean everything like everything so I recommend you have everything in order you have all your check stubs in order you have all your bank statements in order also, all the money coming in, all the money coming into your bank, that means like um, direct deposit, like anything, all the income, have it in your bank. Do not put money into your bank that's cash because they will question like where is this money coming from, where did you get it from, or anything like that because they will question you so much. And if you're, if you're self-employed, I also recommend you have everything in order because that's if you're self-employed they look at you like more in depth more in depth so it's kind of a little bit harder than somebody that has direct deposit that has everything in order because maybe the process will take longer also you want to find a good realtor that will help you get a house that's going to help you go into houses no matter what location you're wanting to buy you, well, it depends also because if you want to get a house somewhere in the city, then you might want to go to realtors that have properties in that city. Or if you want to move farther away, then maybe you want to get another realtor that specializes on that area. So you kind of want to look around because if you wanted to go to another area and the realtor doesn't really know, then it's kind of hard because they're not going to know. You know what I mean? So you want to get somebody that knows. Make sure your addresses match your driver license. I know this might sound like dumb or anything, but trust me, I didn't have it and they made it a big deal. So just make sure before you're applying for a house that your driver license matches your address as well. You don't want to go through, the, go through all this extra work when you can just have everything in place because it's harder and it takes longer. And whenever you go into this, you want to want to get out of this fast, like fast. Because it's so much. Also, uh, when is a good time to buy? When is a good time to buy? I would say um, summer and spring. But I think that every day is a good time to buy. It's never a bad thing 
to buy a house especially because you don't want to be paying rent you don't want to be giving away your money for free if you're like really into buying a house then you are probably tired of giving all that money away you want to own something for your kids for your future like you want to have something for your kids and for them to be proud of you also um I would say summer and spring would be the best for um, to buy a house because all these people that are probably selling their house as well, they are doing it when the kids go back to school or before they go back to school. So like around summer, and there's going to be a lot of inventory going on. So if you get to like realtor.com, you're going to see all these houses coming out on the um, like an inventory because there's so much to choose from but also it could be bad because once you see the houses and you like it maybe somebody else liked it too so it's just all depends and how long the process took um, in my scenario it probably took like two to three months because at the time I was getting the house with my boyfriend he's now my fiance but it was since we were not living together it was harder because they were asking us so many things but what helped is because that I had everything in order he had everything in order everything was good so it took two or three months but it might take longer if you're probably self-employed or if they're looking into more in depth and then also after you like the house and you like a house and you went to go check it out and you like it and you tell the realtor you know what this is it this is the one i like this house i want it you tell your realtor you know what um let's go ahead and make an offer so when you make an offer you're gonna um they're gonna send everything to the seller or whoever is selling the house and they will actually um you can go lower on the price so if it's going for 230 you can probably like get it for 220 or for 210 so don't really go based on the on the price of the house you can probably go lower but it just depends on if anybody was on the list or if was interested on the house too so you can probably go down on the house so just keep that in mind because maybe you're probably looking in a house that is probably out of your league and you're like oh my god i can't get it it's too much money well maybe you can because maybe you can go down on it and maybe you can probably get it at your cost so once you make an offer um they will reply and tell you yes you can go ahead and take it at that price so then that's when inspections come in inspections and appraisals so inspections um you can hire somebody that can come to your house and you know inspect everything that everything is okay for you to move in they will if there's anything that's needed you know they will contact the seller and then the seller will tell you if they're going to be able to fix it or not. So that's whenever y'all are just exchanging information. For the closing cost, um, it just depends. I mean, there's so many lenders out there and also so many government assistants that want to pay for your house, that want to pay for your down payment. Um, it just depends because maybe like an FHA. FHA, they only require, um, I believe, 10%. I'm not really sure, but they do require a down payment. With there's another program which is a uh, USDA. A USDA they will pay for your whole down payment. The only thing you will have to worry about is your closing cost. So if you are a first-time home buyer, you will get a lot of help. You will. There's a lot of programs out there that you may qualify for and that you may probably get everything paid off and everything you need to pay is just the closing costs. So um, last thing I would recommend for y'all to do, if you are watching this video and you are wanting to buy a house, just go for it. Just go for it, don't be scared. Cause I know there's so many people that are scared that they're like, oh my God, it's a big investment, that's a lot of money, I'm not gonna be able to do it. Well, guess what? Maybe your rent on a new beautiful house is going to be the same thing you're paying on a two-room apartment where you have to go downstairs, upstairs every day for groceries. And with this new house, you're going to have a garage. You're going to have where to put your car. You're going to be happy. Everybody's going to be happy. So just think about that. Think about your kid's future. Think about your family. You know, like you want to get a house or make a good investment for your family, you know. So just go for it, you know, if 
you are wanting to grow, just do it. Do not listen to negative people. Do not listen to people that are going to tell you, no, you know why, you should just wait, wait to do this. No, 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 no. Like, there's no excuses. You either do it or you don't. So, I recommend you do it. You're, gonna, you're not going to regret it. I know it's going to be stressful. It's going to be stressful, but just... It's just two or three months. You're going to be living in that house forever if you're planning to. Or you can even sell it and get money from it. Hope you really like this video. And give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Subscribe to my channel. And that should be all for today. Thank you for watching.